So the next step in the process would be to interview an agent or interview agents for the job of selling your property. Um, now, some agents say, I want to interview many different agents, bring in a lot of people to get different opinions on the marketing and the pricing um, and what differentiates different agents. Um, I've, I've been on um, listing appointments for sellers where I'm a fifth agent that was been brought in. Um, and I've been on appointments where they only interview one or two people. Um, it really depends on the seller and if they have a lot of time for that. My recommendation is uh, to at least interview uh, two people to get an idea of, um, you know, the different pricing, uh, different opinions on the market, um, also experience of the agent. Um, when you sell your property is one of, going to be one of the most expensive items you will ever sell. So um, my belief is that you should try to maximize, um, you know, the value and also put the sale in the hands of an agent who has done this before and who has been, who has a long proven track record in the market. Now, where do you find that? You could find that maybe with the agent that sold you the property, uh, if they're still in business and you can reach out to them. Um, perhaps if you had a good relationship with them when you purchased, you want to bring them in to see how they could assist you with selling. Um, you could find those, uh, through online resources agents. So you could look at like Zillow reviews or Google reviews, or, um, if you're living in a certain town or a certain building, maybe there's an agent that does a lot of transactions in that building. Um, but you definitely want to interview a few people and hear different opinions um, on the price, on the marketing strategy, um, on, the, on the commission and fees, which I'll go through later on in a different video series. Um, but to feel you're looking for somebody who you feel you have confidence in to sell the property that will meet your goals of when you want to sell, the price you're thinking, if it's realistic. Uh, and I'll go through pricing uh, in a future video series. Um, and also someone that you have good rapport with and that agent has market knowledge. Um, you know, the average agent in the market has probably been around for like two to three years. Um, and, you know, my advice would be to hire someone who has um, who's been around probably at least 10 to 15 plus years in the market. Um, I'm on my 22nd year personally, but um, you know, I would, if I was selling a property, I would want to see interview agents that have been in the market for multiple market cycles, meaning that they've seen up markets, they've seen down markets, they've seen slow markets um, because markets can shift quickly and you want to be aligned with somebody who has seen all those different markets so that they know how to react. Um, but that would be my advice. Interview several different agents, um, see how they uh, stack up um, against each other, and uh, then you would be able to make a decision on which agent is the best fit for you. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to email me at Walter at Living on the Hudson or call me at 347-448-3766. I'll be happy to speak with you about your property. Thank you.